Hey there, everybody. It's a busy Monday. I haven't done any college basketball March Madness updates since the tournament began. Yeah, right. It's because we're busy. Exactly. There's babies. There's all kinds of stuff. And there's been no betting on sports. I haven't really watched or cared. But for all those people who care, let's do a video. So let's talk about today's games. Um, I don't know. Kind of interesting. Some of these are part of the big tournament. Some of them are not. Like this Gonzaga, Creighton, UCLA. Yeah. Michigan, Iowa's going on right now against Oregon, USC, and Colorado. I like this Colorado. But remember, whenever I say something, just do the opposite. Because no matter what I say, it's always wrong. So I really like Colorado. One, because the line is good. And because Florida State's opponent's health is lower. And because Colorado did not allow me into their arena when I tried to go in there in Boulder. And any, any school that is smart enough to lock up their arena and not let me in is a school that has probably got a good basketball team and on top of their toes. So that's the game that I like here. Let's take a look at the master bracket. And for all those who ordered brackets, um, somebody sent me their bracket and they can't get it to work because they're working on an older version of Microsoft Excel. And that can happen. So I have all the results in here. I want to go over that for this person and also talk about how the uh, bracket standings and everything work. So these games are already decided over here in round two. Hey, Leslie. Okay. Yeah. You're doing sound effects, bud. We're trying to do a video. Can, can you be quiet? Thank you. All right, two-year-olds listening. So over here, these <laughs> these games are going on today, right now. Uh, where's that Colorado game? Where, where is that? Call right here. Col Colorado, Florida State. Uh, then there's Michigan, Louisiana. Michigan, you would expect to, to go through. But look at these big upsets. Uh, I mean, some crazy stuff. Oral Roberts really rolling. Now, what's interesting about that, I want to go back to the projections algorithm for a second. If you look at yesterday, if you look at yesterday, what you have here is Florida was hurting. They were actually at 66% health yesterday. I guess they finished off at 83, so maybe some of those people played. But they were hurting, and it must have had an impact because Oral Roberts wins that game if you look at what happened yesterday. Yesterday was not a good day for the algorithm. But, but, there were some health percentages that were lower for teams like this. Oklahoma State as well had, had a lower health than Oregon State. So anyway, um, just interesting to see that because that Oral Roberts, you definitely would have said take Oral Roberts plus eight and a half, seeing that this was at 66% yesterday is what Florida's health was before the game listed on the injury report. So anyway, all right, let's go back to today and what else I want to talk about with the brackets. Let's do this for a second. And do, there we go. Um, so, for people who want a big pick, I, I like Colorado. I like the line. It, uh, this Brian is not a tournament game. How about this stuff up here? Gonzaga is going to try to blow them out, but the spread is 14. How good is Oklahoma? Um, I mean, they're they're 50 percent team. It's tough to beat somebody by a whole lot. So it's just tough to play that. Um, but let's go back to the bracket and the standings for a second. So if you're filling one of these out or if you, you're running a tournament and you want to add your people's brackets to this, you put them in the all data sheet here. You just dump them in and you dump them in from the entry bracket. And you're left with, as we update this here, you're left with a standings pivot table that you can refresh here. These are actually two pivot tables, one over here and one over here. And this one is the one that's showing you the standings of people. Um, and I just usually grab it and take a picture of the whole thing and send it out for big tournaments. But this shows you how many current points people have and how many potential points they have remaining based on your own scoring structure that you set up or that I set up for you right here. This is totally dynamic. You could change these you know, points to anything and it's gonna change the standings over here as soon as you refresh this. And sometimes people, you can see people will change orders because of what round they got a certain uh, correct thing in. So let's go back to the, the way this is for this, for this tournament. And so we see that these are, these are low scoring point totals early on. You know, you can open this up. What's cool about this is, all right, this just shows you, well, you know, there's some people who can win here. There's some people that are in really, 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 really big trouble, and you can see how far they are, right? I, I get it. Now, here's what's cool, though, is as you look at certain games, this pivot table right here shows you 
who has what team, right? So you can see that a lot of people have Gonzaga, a lot of people have Baylor. Well, did anybody have Oral Roberts, right? And, and so what we could do is instead of sorting this by how many people had what, let's sort it alphabetically and then find Oral Roberts here. And nobody had Oral Roberts at all. Ha! They're not here. Wow, that's funny. Not one person. Not one person had them. So you don't have to worry about that whole Oral Roberts situation. Well, what about the other up upsets that happened? The really big upsets. Well, there's there's this. There's Loyola over Illinois. I bet you nobody had Loyola that far. Let's let's check. Loyola. Open them up. Only people had them in round one. That's what this means right here where there's a number and nobody had them in round two. So that's nothing to worry about in this tournament. So you can see how some upsets don't worry at all. Or it doesn't, doesn't matter at all. How about Oregon State? So here's a 12. Did anybody have Oregon State deep? Let's check that out. Oregon State. Yes, Tanner, the guy who's winning, had them in the second round, which is the round that they won. So that's why he's in the lead. You can see like why people are winning. What other upsets were there? All right, UCLA made it in from a play-in game and then they beat BYU. Did anybody have that? No, nobody had it. Well, wait a minute. No, they did have it, right? That means they did have it? They, 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 they did have it in the first round. Those two people had UCLA, okay. So anyway, it's super cool to, to browse this thing and it's really powerful, and, and if you are scoring your brackets by hand, you you can see how easy this really could be. Because all you do is just change the game right here, and everything else changes everywhere. Let's have, let's just call Colorado winning right now, because I, I think they're going to win. All right, I got to run, guys. Good luck. Me, all your picks be winning.